What is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Tools Wrestling, a very ill Joe from Joe Tools Wrestling, however I am bringing you a video today, uh, a different one, something I've never actually done before, I'm going to be customising and fixing up some WWE figures live for you guys right now so you can watch, uh, there's nothing on that's like, you know, different, there's nothing extravagant, it's not a I'm not painting, I'm literally just fixing up. So let me go through what I'm gonna be doing today and then we'll get straight into it. So first off, I've got an Elite 65, I believe, AJ Styles, and his legs are warped. Um, so I'm gonna to have to be fixing them. We've got a Kevin Owens Elite, the Kevin Owens Show Elite, I can't remember what number it is. Um, but essentially I switched on some Elite 3 or Elite 6 Miz lower legs. I can't believe what they are, not lower legs, sorry, kick pads. Um, and they look great, don't get me wrong. I also switched on some Elite John Cena lower knees, and that looks great, don't get me wrong, however he can barely stand. And I can't be having that, especially not for my pick fed, so I'm having to switch back everything to the original kick pads and original lower knees. Also, we're doing a Devon Dudley arm swap. I added some custom arms onto my Devon, but I think the hands look too big, plus the tattoos are shit, so I'm getting rid of that. And finally, what we're doing is I've got the Elite One prototype, which is a knockoff. Uh, mine isn't an official prototype from Mattel. And we've got the Elite 57 Jeff Hardy. I'm going to be switching on the Elite One arms onto the Elite 57 just to see how it looks. I will be switching them back. I'm thinking maybe of doing the head swap as well, but I don't think the net peg's going to hold uh, or the torso's going to crack. So I doubt I'll do that. But either way, let's get right into it. So we're going to start off with a you know, Styles figure because uh, this should be the most simple. So literally going to move the camera and fix out these warped lower legs because they're really annoying me. I'll keep him there for the remainder of the video and see, hopefully, fingers crossed, by the time his legs have gone back to normal, they, uh, they should be straight. Right, next up, it's time to put the Devon arms back on the Devon figure. So these arms are, in my opinion, I thought they were too big for Devon, uh, same as Bubba, and they have the new joint, which I, well, it's okay. It's not too bad, to be honest with you, but it's just, I prefer the older joint. So, I don't know, but either way, it's time to get rid of these arms. Uh, it was a good little experiment while it lasted. It was seeing the pick fed for every single episode Devon's been in. I was quite proud with the tattoo work I did uh, on the other tattoos, like this one here. Uh, just this one sucked. I mean, it, it just sucks. So, yeah. Amateur work by me. I could do much better than that. I was just obviously not doing good on the day. So let's get right into it. Right, hand swaps are a nightmare. So I'm just going to show you what I do. Is normally I get the hands. Uh, I figure out which one goes in which hand. So it will be this one goes here and that one goes in here then what i do is i get my tweezers and i basically put them in the hole and just wiggle round to try and make that little hole as big as it can possibly be now bearing in mind where the plastic's like rubbery right now where it's warm that hole's going to go right back to its normal position pretty quickly so you've got to work really fast uh, normally you have to heat one up after the other the other thing i put them in that pot so they don't move that you can't hold the um, the hairdryer or the heat gun, whatever you're using, too close because if you do, the heat will just go straight back into the hairdryer and that is not good. There's one arm done. Let's see if we can get it done with the other one. I doubt we will. I can feel it's harder than the other one, so we will see. But the pegs on these hands are quite small, so we might be able to just do it. Let's give it a try. In we go. Perfect. There's a set of back to normal Devon Dudley arms. Now we just got to put them on the actual Devon figure. If he's still warm enough anyway. Pop, there goes one. And pop, there goes the other. Back to normal Devon Dudley, as he should be. There we go, moving on to the next. Okay, so the next one I'm gonna do is the knee swap between Kevin Owens and John Cena. Um, obviously, the Cena knees are on the Owens and the uh, the, the Owens knees are on the Cena, so we need to swap that back. Um, you couldn't use this Cena, it makes him way too tall. You can't really tell on camera, but he's way too tall for John Cena. John Cena's only like six foot one, which is smaller than me. So I don't know, but here we go. Let's um, heat this up and I'll explain it quickly what I'm gonna be doing here. So once again, I'm having to take off the lower knees, this bottom peg right here. 
and then what I'll be doing is switching them out and with these tweezers I'll be shoving them all the way through expanding the plastic once again so I can literally just shove the the, um, the peg all the way through I've seen a lot of guys they um, they put the peg in one side and then try and wrap it around on the other side it's much easier if you put the um, you might get a few stretch marks I go straight in and I'll literally just twist make it as big as I can and for that split second what before it shrinks back to normal size I shove that peg all the way through knees back in position so let's go with the time lapse okay so we're quickly going to try and switch these through uh, i've still got pegs in which i don't need i might have to put all of the parts back in the pot and reheat once again uh let's try and pull that through there we go got it um let's check for more pegs none nope okay so these smaller ones will be going back on the cena these bigger ones will be going on the other own the Kevin Owens. So I'm just going to take out all of the pegs from all the figures, sit them aside. We don't need them. These are the pegs right here. I did forget to mention at the uh, very beginning, this is very hot. Um, this hair dries very, very hot and obviously it burns and I've got used to it over time. I can sort of just now grab them and they burn me, but my fingers are used to it. Uh, so if you are a kid, and you're wanting to customize any of your figures, definitely ask your mum, dad, guardians uh, permission first and get them to help you because there is no use you doing it yourself. You will probably get hurt nine times out of 10. Um, so here they are, all of the parts are here. What I'm gonna do now again is do another time lapse. I know the framing's terrible, but I'm trying to make it so you can see me fiddling with the figure instead of just my face. Um, so basically I'll do another time lapse, put all of these parts right here. All of these parts are gonna go in the pot and then we will get on to maneuvering about with the actual figure. Okay, so that should be enough heat for me to try it. Obviously, it being plastic as well, it really helps because it can, like, you know, heat it up for me. Got to figure out which leg goes on which. I believe that's the right leg. Yep, now we'll get the peg. Get the tweezers, shove it all the way through. You can't really see it. Hang on. Shoving this all the way through, these tweezers. Trying to make as big a hole as I can possibly make, really. So I can literally shove that peg through, no hassle whatsoever. It does, once again, can cause, well, it can cause stretch marks, but look, look how simple it is. Just like that, the peg is straight through. All these YouTubers, wrestling hero figs, my damn toys, they all struggle. They're doing it the wrong way. That's the way you got to do it. Moving on to the next one. Is that the right one? No, that's too small. We need this one right here. Going to put it on, shove it through, twist it. Twist it, twist it, twist it. Make it as much room as I can possibly make. Bring it back, grab the peg, shove it through. You might have to use your teeth as you've seen me do. And there we go, that one's through as well. Now we can line up the Kevin Owens boots, find out which one's left and which one's right. There we go, and pop them back on. No hassle whatsoever. Twist and twist and twist. When the peg and the boot is hot, like same for any joint, you, when the peg's hot as well, it's a bit of a nightmare. You want the actual part to be hot, not the peg. Um, like, hand, well, it depends. Hands, for example, when you're trying to put hands on, you don't want the hands to be hot because then they'll just like slip. But here we go, Kevin Owens is back to normal. Now let's try it on John Cena. So what we're gonna do, it does help actually, if you can line up first. So that's the back, that's the front, there we go. I doubt these are still hot um but i'll try it nevertheless trying to make that hole grab me a peg put that down twist and twist it's getting harder and harder this plastic so i don't know how well this is going to go first try um let's try this huh surprise surprise it's gone through other one pop that on there I'm never going to use this Cena figure again. It sucks, in my opinion. I use the defining moments now, the first one. I prefer retro Cena to the the current, you know, like, C-Nation Cena. In my pick fed, anyway. I prefer having, like, 2005 era Cena. Let's push that in. There we go, nice. Didn't even struggle at all on that one. 
Now we're just gonna put the foot back on, find out which shoe goes on which foot. There we go. This is the most complicated swap of this video. Um, I don't torso crack or anything. I've had people ask me if I torso crack. It's the one thing I'm still learning to do. It's a very hard thing, but once you master it, it's fantastic. There we go. Cena back to normal. Owen's back to normal. Let's move on with Jeff Hardy. Okay, so what we're doing now is a simple arm swap. I'm gonna swap them back um, like afterwards. I just wanna see how this looks. Uh, arm swap from the Elite One prototype, or as I call it, the Enzo, because look, the Enzo dance. Um, and the Elite 57. So we're gonna do the arm swap. If you don't know what the difference is, these arms are just literally black and like white, whereas these ones are white, um, green and purple. So it's just it just shakes things up a little bit. I'm not gonna do the head swap. I feel like it's gonna break, so we are just gonna do the arms, but let's get right into it. Okay guys, so these arms were incredibly tough to get off. I think they might be made of a different kind of plastic. So, um, and essentially what I like, what I feared ha was gonna happen has happened. You can see this head is literally starting to crack open. Um, so that's the start of a torso crack right there. I'm just gonna leave that. But let's quickly, while it's still hot, uh, apply these arms onto the Elite 57 to see if I like them. Um, oh God, they're so stiff. Right, that's one. And then that's two, maybe, almost. We shall see. Bloody hell, they're tight. Okay, okay, there we go. So that's the Elite 57 with the Elite One prototype arms. That looks pretty cool, in my opinion. I, I really, I think that's cool. Yeah, I like that. But my God, this figure. I mean, I've had this since I was a kid, so I really don't want to break it. Um, but this is sort of just like, literally the neck peg is gone. Like literally this is in a bad way. Look at that. Look at that. The only way I could po like possibly fix that is by completely cracking it. And I'm not going to risk that. Not yet anyway. Um, but so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these arms back on. If I can quickly take them back off this Elite 57, it might be a bit of a task. Um, yep. No, there goes one. And... Will the other one come off? I really don't want to break this, because this Elite 57 Jeff Hardy is really rare. Um, I had to buy it online. So now let's quickly put his default arms back on. No trouble at all with the official Mattel arms. And there we go. So that's Jeff back to normal. But that whole Elite one arms was cool. I might use that in the pick fed in the future, but I'm not going to be putting them back on him. It will be so much easier for me to just directly heat them up than me to put them back on this Jeff. So let's have a look at everything I've done today. Here we are, and uh, essentially I have fixed the Devon arms, put them back to their original arms, the ones that came on the figure. Uh, I still think that they're too big. However, it looks much better than my crappy custom arms that I made. That's not even, yeah, look, look that's terrible. Um, we put the correct knees back on this John Cena. It's a little bit warped, but I'm honestly, I don't care. This John Cena just sits in my bin, so that really doesn't matter. This Kevin Owens has been fixed, so now he's got the correct lower knees. Not the authentic, like, real ones that he wore on TV, but, uh, yeah, at least he can stand now. The other one couldn't even stand. We pretty much broke my Elite One Jeff Hardy's upper neck, so I'm just going to leave that. You know, that can chill. Um, but yeah, we did, uh, we did the swap of the Elite One arms onto the Elite 57, which looked quite nice. Might use that in the future, but for now, I'm just going to keep the Elite 57 arms on. And finally, we fixed the warped legs of the AJ Styles. If you look at this, it does look straight now, finally. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It's just something different. I've never done one before. Um, I want to bring more customizing like videos to the channel, uh, ways to fix figures. Obviously, figures are breaking all the time. Um, figures come out of the box loose. So I've got ways, instead of you guys spending your money, I know how to fix them. Say, for example, a figure has a really loose arm joint. So there are, well, this one doesn't, but say the arm's just like spinning round. I know a way to fix that. So if you'd like them videos, then tell me. Um, if you stay to the end of the video, comment.
the Kevin Owens show. Literally comment the Kevin Owens show if you stayed. If not, and none of you have commented, well then, I'm just going to presume that you don't want another one of these videos. So, there you go. Please be sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Stay tuned for more wrestling content, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.